Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another cool arcade game video for you. This is one of our repair videos. If you've watched part one or part two, or I uh, think there's been three parts so far, then you know that we're, uh, we've been working on this old Spanish Eyes pinball machine for a long time. Way longer than maybe it even uh, deserves, but we're trying to get the thing presentable and uh, working well. So in part one, we worked on the uh, electronics in the back box, talked about them a little bit. On part two, we worked inside the uh, cabinet on the electronics in the body of the game, showed them a little bit. Part three, we worked on the play field and got it in pretty decent shape, repainted a lot of it. Uh, so uh, check out those three parts if you haven't seen uh, those yet. And then in part four, the last piece of the puzzle really, uh, besides some minor adjustments we need to make here and there, uh, is this back glass is in horrible shape. So. We are going to try to fix it a little bit. Now, folks, it's not going to be perfect. There's no way we can make it look really nice. But what we're going to do is repaint the back of it. Uh, we're going to repaint anywhere where you can see the bulb shining through. Uh, we're going to repaint that color. And what it's going to do is it's going to change the appearance of it to where it no longer looks as... Uh, translucent as it does now it's going to make it where it's a more I call it marbleized you'll be able to see all of the brush strokes behind wherever we painted it which kind of gives it an effect that's not perfect but looks better than the lights just shining through in my opinion um, and it, it does replace the art it just they, it doesn't light up as well uh, if you can spray it sometimes that's better but this is so intricate there's so much paint missing that it, we can't spray this in any way so just to give you an idea Notice her hair's cracking. Her face has issues, which is the worst. Whenever, whenever you're doing a back glass and the there's a female character on the back glass and her skin looks bad, there's no way to make it look good. It just looks like she has leprosy whenever you're done. So we'll see how that turns out. But um, got major problems in all of the lettering, as you can see. Um, flower over here has problems. And basically all of this is caused by the heat from the lamps. Um, this girl's dress is destroyed. This girl's dress is destroyed. This girl's skin tone is destroyed. Uh, the, the guy back there with the guitar is destroyed. The guy up here is destroyed. So it's it's major. And this, this back glass is also damaged. It's been shot with a pellet gun. So there's a hole here. And then there's another one up here. I mean, look at that. So, major problems. But uh, we're going to go through it a little bit and see if we can make it look better. So we figured we'd videotape it just so we'd have a record of the before and the after. And again, our goal isn't to make this machine super nice because it's not a valuable machine. We're just working through it and trying to make it more presentable and making it uh, fun to play again like it should have been. So uh, we're just trying to get it where it's in nice presentable shape and we'll make a good addition to somebody's home game room. So we, uh, we will be back shortly. We're going to film the back of it and show you what that's like uh, before we get started on it. Alright folks, so as you can see, we have removed the back glass. This is what the cabinet looks like. Someone has went through and meticulously repainted all of this yellow. Uh, that originally was probably white. Yeah, I can see the white. Um, see inside how it's white? Somebody's repainted it yellow, and probably the reason they did that was so that if you saw through the messed up parts on the back glass, you would see that yellow instead of just seeing a bland white. Um, so that's one way to work at it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you something interesting. Notice how all the bulbs are blinking? Those bulbs don't have any kind of, you know, this is an electromechanical, so there's no computer or anything telling a bulb to turn on or off. Those are just special bulbs that turn themselves on and off. You can put that bulb in any socket that it'll fit in and it'll turn, it'll blink like that. Um, it's a 455 bulb. And if you look really close, see how the socket, the wood's rounded around that socket? The purpose for that is because a blinker bulb has a round globe on it like that, so they fit in there. Now, if you look over here, see how those aren't rounded? Aren't rounded? Oh, let me find the other one. I got lost there for a second. See how that's a different looking hole than that one? That's because originally the only ones that should have been blinkers were those ones in the middle with the rounded hole, because that's the ones behind the name. So the common way that they would do it, it had just added a little a little attract mode, as they would call it, uh, to the machine. So you basically you would want the name of the machine blinking on and off and having a little bit of sparkle going on, you know. Over here again was the uh the lady 
with the rose in her mouth, uh, the dancer. And so she her her uh, she should be lit up at all times. It shouldn't be blinking. Somebody kind of went overboard on it. And then over here, we've got the same thing. All of these other bulbs should be just standard bulbs. They should be lit up at all times. But I suppose that since the, the back glass was so uh, messed up, they just wanted to make it where uh, it wasn't that wasn't always lit up maybe to cut down on the heat a little bit and then also maybe to uh, distract I don't know maybe to distract that it was from it being uh, the paint being so damaged but so that's what's going on there we'll fix that we'll leave these as blinkers behind the name and then we'll make these just one all the time like they're supposed to be all right so here is the back of the back glass upside down of course because we just laid it down right out of the thing as you can see and so uh, you can see on the back more of what's going on. This gray silvered look on here is basically a mask. If that's on there, the light won't shine through it. So basically all of those areas are not meant to light up. Uh, and as you can see, most of that is still in good shape. There's a little bit of cracking down here. I guess they might call that crazing. Different people call it different stuff. And as you can see down at the bottom where the game over and the tilt, and then the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's the ball number uh, that's in play. And then up here at the top, the 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, which is the match numbers, are all in good shape. And then over here, the 100,000 point light um, is in good shape. So basically on this game, whenever you uh, roll it over and get 100,000 points, it lights up that light over there, which says 100,000 points plus this score because it will reset at zero after 100,000. And another interesting thing while we have the back glass off, as you can see, this last reel, which would be the ones digit, is a dummy reel. Look at that. It's fake. So uh, everything on the, on the machine scores at least 10 points. And so this one moves and it says 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever, but you'll never have an odd number or a number other than zero as the, uh, the one point score. Um, so the numbers around the edge are fine. The gray masking is fine on most things. This is the around the score windows. It's in pretty good shape. We'll leave that alone. That's where it was shot with the pellet. We're not going to mess with that. Um, again, you'll see a brush stroke everywhere I try to fix it. So it looks fine the way it is. We're not going to mess with that. Uh, also over here, that was where the flower, there's just one little spot messed up. So what we'll do is we'll repaint just that one flower, make it try to look a little better. The big part, the worst part is going to be her skin tone, unfortunately, is going to look bad. But we'll do the best we can. And then uh, her hair here we need to touch up. And then we'll have to repaint these letters because there's just so much missing of them. You can paint just the part that's missing, but when you do, you see that spot. I mean, it just makes it show pretty much as bad as it was, but we'll see what we can do. And then over here, these are the dancers, and they're just destroyed. I mean, look how much of that one's missing. Look at that. Horrible. So uh, the, the best way to do it, although it would be really hard, is if you had someone who was a really good artist, they could scrape the old paint off and then repaint it. Just go ahead and redo it. Ugh. I do not have that skill, so I'm just going to do the best I can, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see where we can go. So, uh, first thing I'll do is I'm going to clear coat this. I'm, I'm going to use triple thick, which is like a uh, potter's glaze. It's a really thick. It's triple thick, folks. A really thick spray paint, basically. It's a clear coat. It'll basically um, make this where uh, all of this paint can't get any worse so it'll make it where none of this will flake off and look worse than it already is it'll hold all of that down um, and it, <laughs> it'll give me something to paint on if you do that if you put triple thick on it and let it dry then when you paint on it if you make a mistake you can just wipe it off because we're using water-based paints um, so uh, we shall see what we can do but we'll 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 triple thick it I'm gonna be careful to kind of block this off so that we don't put triple thick over our windows here because if you do, it, it, it gives it like a beer goggle effect where there, there's a real thick paint on it. So it's not crystal clear. It makes everything look kind of blurry, uh, which would make our score reels appear blurry. On some games, you can't get around it really. You kind of have to do it or you can scrape it off later. But this one has a nice square defined. Whoop, hit the flipper. Has a nice square defined place where the score reels are. So I can lay something over that where that doesn't get any paint on it um, whenever I paint it. But there's where we're at. I will, uh, I will get that clear coated, and then we'll uh, we'll come back. 
All oh, right, ladies and gentlemen, I, what I did was I went ahead and clear-coated the back, and uh, I went ahead and got the light bulbs out they're supposed to be, so I can kind of... The first thing that I'm going to look at is whether or not it needs any of the black lines redrawn. If you look, everything's kind of inked in black, so basically you need to get the lines in first. And here around her, there's no lines missing. There's a little bit of stuff missing right there. See how the black's missing a little bit? That's not that big of a deal. There's a little bit of the line missing there, a little bit there, a little bit down there. You can see how when I painted it, it actually got some of the wrong colors stuck in the paint there where they moved because they were trying to flake off. So whenever I clear coated it, it stuck them down to where they're now they're in the wrong spot. But oh well, it'll be all right. Again, this will not be perfect. A little bit of the black lines missing there. Um, there's a little bit missing here on the ladies' fan. A little bit missing here on the ladies fan a little bit missing here on her dress so the the first thing you have to do since that's the f the front thing that you see the the black is the first thing you see it has to be the first thing you paint on if I were to paint the yellow in I wouldn't be able to go back and add the black line you know you wouldn't see it so basically you have to get the lines right first replace them and then paint on top of it so I'm going to uh, ink in the black lines first and again, it won't be perfect, but we'll we'll get that uh, to where everything's got a nice area defined like it's supposed to, uh, and then we'll we'll start with the paint. So be back in a second. All right, folks, we're back. I went ahead and lined in. You can kind of see see my black ink line there. I lined in all of the black lines that were missing, and uh, then after I did that. I went and painted all the orange. Basically, I repainted pretty much all of the orange. You can't just paint one little spot because you'll see, like it, do, it doesn't light up right. This is the best way to do this would be to, and I've already clear coated it, but the best way to do this would be to probably mask it off and then spray it. But I don't really have that ability. So uh, what I do is I paint it on, and you can't just paint it on with a brush because you'll see every little brush stroke. So the way I do it is I glob it on. I just make it really thick which makes it where it's kind of opaque so the light doesn't shine through as good um, but it does make it a little more even so um, I repainted the orange as you can see lots of the yellow still still missing but the orange is looking decent really in her dress as you can see it's not a perfect match but it's close and uh, at least it's solid so like the fan and again you're going to see it from way back but at least it made it a little more uh, presentable and uh, I'm going to do the yellow next so we'll see how that comes about while the while the orange is drying off here we'll start in on the, the yellow and the green so I'll be back whenever I get that done all right ladies and gentlemen we are done with our little art project here now again i am not great at this but uh i tried to uh, go through and basically what i was trying to do was replace all the paint that um, you could see the light bulbs through and if you just paint it you know just a little coat with a paint brush or whatever you see every little brush stroke and the it doesn't really block the light very easily so you have to put 10 coats on it before it'll even uh, block the light so what I always do is I just kind of glob the paint on there a little bit so that's what we got now also you can see that I didn't really you don't really have to stay in the lines because this remember everything that's gray the light can't shine through so you can't see uh, that it looks kind of sloppy like it does on the back it'll still it's not gonna look perfect but uh hopefully that'll look pretty decent. I'll, uh, it's, of course this is all still wet, but I will uh, mount it up in there and then I'll show you what it looks like turned off and what it looks like turned on. Alright, so here we are uh, with it fully painted. The paint's still wet so it hasn't dried yet. It'll probably dry just slightly darker in the places that we touched up. But uh, this is with the lights off. As you can see it actually looks pretty good. So We fixed her little leprosy problem basically. Um, to where you can't really tell where it was flaking. We fixed her hair where it was messed up. Now if you get real close, if you look, you can see I didn't get a perfect color match on the hair. 
that's a kind of weird color but I thought I had it right but I didn't and then you, you always have issues like this like see the orange spot in her in her cheek but I uh, I didn't notice that that was like that so I painted it the flesh color so now she's got a couple of flesh spots in the orange but stuff like that's minor you know I mean it's not not a big deal and then as you remember this first letter was fine and then uh, I think the A was the first one that had a lot of paint missing. If we get really close, you can see that there were tracks missing and now they're, they've been repainted yellow. And then the orange, if you get really close, you can see where the, uh, the paint has filled it in. And it got worse and worse as it went along. The H, of course, was really bad. If you see this, see that line, the black line in the middle there? That's because I put the line in the wrong spot. I'm the one who did that. And then the other one's how it's kind of, uh, stuff looks like it's in the wrong spot. Like this, for instance. See how that line's just kind of in the middle of nowhere? That's because that was a piece of, of the art that flaked off, and then whenever I was spray painting it, it must have moved and got stuck in that spot. And then whenever I spray painted it, it stuck down. So you get a little bit of that going on. Down here, you can see it, the same thing happened there. Some of the artwork moved around whenever I spray painted it and got stuck in the wrong spots. So now it's kind of permanently on there, but that's all, you know, minor stuff. You don't even really notice it from a distance. So here's the uh, lock bar. So, you know, you're going to be looking at it from there. Um, and then if you remember, her entire dress was basically missing. Whoop. Whoop basically uh, all of the yellow was missing pretty much um, their faces were missing all of that skin tone there was missing um, I was able to put white on the fan or a little bit lighter white just because it kind of matched and uh, the skin tone over here was all missing uh, um, the uh, the bustier or whatever it's called of her dress was uh, was missing uh, part of this was missing uh, the guitar most of it was missing and so, you know, at, from the back, you know, it looks kind of sloppy, but from the front, it filled it in pretty good. Now, this is with, this is with the uh, lights off. Unfortunately, the horror story is, <laughs> that's not the hard part. The hard part is getting it to look good whenever you turn the lights on. So I'll, uh, I'll turn the, uh, the game on here, and you'll see how it looks with the lights shining through it. So as you can see, it's just, I mean, it's decent. At least now the lights aren't um, shining through the art where you can see the actual exposed bulbs, but uh, it's not great, you know. And that, that's, that's a result of me kind of globbing the paint on. As you can see, you can see every little spot where the paint is a different thickness. So on some back glasses, depending on what's going on, it kind of gives it a neat look. Like this right here, I don't think looks that bad. Like look how it makes her dress look. It looks kind of cool. You know, that's not that bad. It kind of makes his, uh, his jacket look pretty decent. But you can see every little place that I repainted something. And then you have a hot spot there where that's right in front of where the bulb is. It might not show up that good on the video, but... Um, that's painted over but since the bulb is so bright right there it's right on top of the bulb you can see every little brush stroke um, and then on the letters when they light up you see the same thing so it's all it's all I call it marbleized it's almost like a marbleized look and what I did was I, I painted these letters up here too even though like this S was perfect but I went ahead and painted it anyway see how it looks like that just so that it would look even because like if you don't paint these um, but you paint these it, you know it looks off but the worst like I mentioned before the absolute worst is whenever you have to paint uh, skin tones so <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> I mean it looks okay I guess but <sighs> it looks better than it did I think because then you know it looks now now it kind of looks like it's stylized but it doesn't light up very well and it uh it just uh you can see every little brush stroke but 
we did stop the the uh, bulbs from shining through it so i'll turn this off i'll do one more quick little video with the lights off just so you can see uh, uh, with the room off just so you can see what it looks like in the dark all right ladies and gentlemen so we are back what i did i got i did something very very sneaky i'll show you um basically like i said i think that actually looks pretty good it's kind of stylized looking and you can see all the little brush strokes but since it's kind of small it doesn't really look bad like if you look at her dress it almost looks like the dress is like satin or something you know what i mean like it looks decent and the skin tone since they're so small it almost looks like it's like a stylized way of, of painting or something it almost in since this is a spanish game it almost looks like you know it was made with spanish tiles or something i don't know and uh these look pretty good i think i think that part of the back glass actually looks pretty decent and then the title i think looks pretty decent whenever it lights up it's a little it's the same way because you can see all the little all the paint but uh so i left that but one pro the, the the girl's skin just didn't look good so what i did was i left this bulb in there because it's kind of cool that it's behind her uh, the little rose in her hair um but i took the there was a bulb here and a bulb here and i took them out because it makes her skin tone look a little better whenever it's not actually lit up <laughs> You, you might be better off too you could paint behind this and make it dark so that it never lights up and then you wouldn't see any light coming through it and it would make her skin look even like it does whenever the uh, the uh, uh, lights are on or whenever the the game's turned off so but I think it looks pretty good like it is so we're just gonna leave it like that and again if you rewind I was dealing with a really really bad back glass so I think all in all uh, we got it looking pretty presentable and, uh, lights up well so I think we kind of saved it now if somebody in the future doesn't like my uh, shoddy paint job they can uh, they can buy a brand new back glass for it if they can find one I think you can uh, you can go to bgresto.com and he'll probably be able to uh, make you one if he's uh, got a scan of one or if he's got the remnants of this one um, or you might be able to find one on eBay but I made do with the best I had, and uh, I think it looks decent. And uh, we'll we'll see if uh, a uh, a customer's interested in it or not. What I'm going to do now is I'll finish up the the little minor things that the game needs, and uh, we'll film a little video of the whole thing finished, like we always do with our uh, arcade games and pinball machines, and show the gameplay and play through it a little bit once we get it all buttoned up. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the back glass repainting. No matter uh, what you feel about the, well, let me know what you feel about the uh, the results. If you think it looks horrible or you think it looks all right, in the comment section below, we will uh, we'll be filming tons more videos like this. If you uh, if you like to subscribe to us here, and whenever we do that next video, they'll send you an email saying that it's uh, available to watch, or stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and if you're not in the area and you can't come by and see us. Uh, just uh, you can check out our website too. We're at lionsarcade.com where we've got pictures of all of our games that we have for sale. Or uh, just check, check us out here on YouTube. So we will see you next video.